Uh, Ma, Ma, no, don't go for the cheese, Ma. It's a trap. No one leaves cheese lying around an attic, Ma. Ma, Ma. Rizzo, Rizzo, Rizzo. Hey, take it easy, Rizzo. You're just having a bad dream. Oh, oh, Gonzo. Uh, Wait a second, Gonzo, well, what are you doing here? I thought Clifford gave everybody the week off. Oh, he did. I just came in to pick up my nasal floss. Uh, of course you did. <laughs> hey, hey, aren't you supposed to be running that tape of the show we recorded last week? Oh, no, the tape. Oh, geez, the tape. That's right. Oh, what did I do with the tape? Oh, huh? oh let me see. Oh, 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 wait a minute. The last thing I remember was... Oh, yeah, yeah. Carl and I were having a cheese-eating contest. Yeah. <laughs> then what happened? Well, well this is coming back to me. Uh, there was Carl and there was the video machine. Oh! <gasps> The tape got eaten! What? Yes. The machine ate the tape? No, Carl! Carl ate the tape? No! Carl ate the machine! <laughs> huh? <laughs> Thank you! I think he does all that without mustard. Oh, no. What are we going to do now? Well, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I got an idea. I got an idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 how about this? Suppose we just run the best scenes from all of our shows yeah. hosted by us, you and me. No, wait a minute. Hosted by us? That's ridiculous, Gonzo. You and me hosting a show? Nobody's gonna go for that. But, but, but we go on the air in one minute. Well, what are we waiting for? We got a show to host. Uh, I'll go get the yeah. tuxedos. Yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> Carl, Carl, uh, cue, cue the opening credits and don't eat them until they're over with. <laughs> Gentlemen, I am Gonzo the Great. As many of you probably know, Muppets Tonight has been on the air for over 3,000 years. That's not right. Well, I'm approximating. <laughs> and in that time, we've had the opportunity to launch the careers of many famous celebrities. Yes. Unfortunately, most of those tapes have been lost, destroyed, stolen, or eaten. <laughs> Thank you. <yeah. laughs> However, a few of those early celebrity appearances have survived. <laughs> Let's watch, shall we? Yes! Welcome to Muppet Matchup. Let's get right to it, shall we, and meet our newbie bachelorette, Miss Michelle Pfeiffer Menowitz. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Michelle. Are you ready to get down with the game? That would be far out, Kermit. Let's boogie with our bad selves. Hey. <laughs> Um, bachelor number one, I love a man with a good sense of humor. What's your idea of a fun date? Well, Michelle, first I would take you to my lab where we'd scrape off some epidermis and examine the skin cells from our bippies. <laughs> um, bachelor number three, same question. Michelle! 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 The next contestants are two young men who have a rather unusual name. They call themselves Chili Manelli. <laughs> I've been searching high. I've been searching low. Don't forget my number. Are you guys lip syncing? No, no, we, we ain't lip syncing, fool. Yeah, don't make me come over there and smack you, Ed. Rocketeer roll call, croak out now. Stu! Jennifer! Newt! Stu! Cindy! Robbie! Stu! DeBolo! Stu! That's enough, Stu. That's the fifth time you've called out your name tonight. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't help it. I have a short-term memory. <laughs> Stu! Uh, okay, everybody. Uh, today is Friday, and what does that mean, huh? It's payday! Well, 
Yes, uh, but it's also Get to Know Your Frogateer Day. Oh, oh well, I like this. So today, let's meet our newest frogateer, Cinderella Crawfordopolis. Yay! Hi, Kermit. Hi there, Cindy. Why don't you tell us a little about yourself? For example, what are your hobbies? Well, um, I like to dress up in really pretty clothes and walk up and down my driveway. Uh, uh, what would you like to do when you grow up? The same thing, but get paid millions of dollars for it. <laughs> and now here's our reigning disco queen, Miss Piggy, with her new partner, Jason Alexander Blunt. Well, those were some of the stars of today. But who, you ask, are the stars of tomorrow? Well, you can be sure you won't be seeing them in these next clips. But what the heck? Let's watch anyway. <laughs> Richard? I'm Seymour. I'm Pepe. We're two of a kind. I'm a little bit forward. And I've got a big behind. Say, Seymour. Yes, Pepe? What do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? Gee, I don't know. What? Elefino. E Elefino. <laughs> Gee, Pepe, I don't think they get it. Elefino. Why do I got to explain to you people, okay? Elefino. Right, right, right. Tell me, Ali. Elefino. <laughs> and now, music lovers, all the way from London's East End, Sid Canisius and his mosh pit Tito's. <laughs> Elephant. Elephant? Ella if. Rhino. Rhino? I know. Elephino. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Culture lovers, tonight, for your musical entertainment, I bring you a team of well-trained artillery shells, the refined young cannonballs. <laughs> Places, gentlemen! Camilla! Music, please! <laughs> number is a hit. Ooh. Yeah, a direct hit. <laughs> that was surprisingly good. And speaking of surprising, watch this. Well, that's not exactly what I had in mind. Uh, Actually, I was just going to show a few more clips, but uh, I guess you can watch while I try to put Gonzo back together. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, hey, God, put my hey, How, How you, you doing, doing, buddy? Hey, welcome to the show. Thank you, man, and I brought some good news. I've been thinking. Uh-oh. We do Garth Brooks stuff on everybody else's show. But you guys, what do you say? Let's do something different. Really? Like what? So 
seems to be the problem. Well, doctor, I see these strange creatures every time I say the word um, phenomena. Do you mind if I try it? Oh, sure. Phenomena. except yeah. um, everyone's treating me like I'm James Bond, and I'm Ooh. not. I mean, that's just the character I play in the movies. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, because in real life, I'm not that suave or debonair at all. <laughs> now, where did I put that high-powered laser of death cotton suave? What? <laughs> hey, this is the reason I moved out of the Y. I never knew life could be so thrilling. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet, sister. Look, no hands, no eyes. I want Cindy to fall in love with you, yes. listen to your headset, and repeat everything I say. Repeat everything I say? No, 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 not yet. Oh, jeez it, here she comes. Oh, jeez uh, it, here she comes. <laughs> uh. Okay, all right, okay. Uh. Oh, 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 hi, 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 Cindy. Cindy, to me, you are like the nuts and berries of the forest. D Cindy, to me, a nut like you should be buried in the forest. What exactly is that supposed to mean, Bobo? Oh, brother, you sure muffed that one, fatso. Oh, brother, you sure muffed that one, fatso. Did you just call me fatso? Yeah. No! Uh, I was yelling at my ear. Oh. oh, hi, Uncle Rizzo. We just came back from the fair. Hey, that's a nice set of balloons you got there. Oh. Maybe you'll let me play with them later. Maybe you'll let me play with them later. What? Oh. 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 I wasn't supposed to say that one, was I? <laughs> some clips that critics love. <gasps> Let me just see right off the bat that my client Martin Short is a huge fan of the Moffats. <laughs> He's always talking about Moffats, Moffat this, Moffat that, little Miss Moffat. Uh, that's Muppets. <laughs> he loves them too. I'm particularly wild about that chubby pig. She is a hoot. I don't like the green one though. He frightens me. <laughs> what, 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 what's his name? That would be me. Yes, I don't like you. <laughs> anyway, these are the uh, requirements of my client. That he needs a super huge deluxe dressing room. He needs a catered kosher meal. He's not Jewish, but you know, he's just done a little <laughs> bit of a kick. And $100,000 per day. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, Gonzo, uh, what do we have in the budget for Mr. Short? <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, we've got tap water. Uh, pretzel rods and all the coins that he can find in the sofa. <laughs> You've got yourself a deal. Johnny Fiamma's just arrived. Make way for the one, the only Johnny Fiamma. Hey, out of the way, you! All right, watch your step there, Ma. Oh, oh, be careful, huh? Hello, sir. I am selling chocolate so that my school can buy new books. Hey, 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 hey! Over my dead body, Johnny Fiamma buys one of them chocolates. Now get out of here, you punk! <laughs> Johnny Fiamma coming through! Hey, hey, Sal, what'd you drop kick him for? He's just a kid selling chocolates. Yeah, right, Johnny, and I'm a monkey. Okay, Johnny Fiamma coming through! Come on, Ma. How's your bed on, all right? Once there was a little old aunt. Thought he'd move. Ah! What'd you do that for? There was an ant on the table. I smashed it. It was a musical ant. He was there for the song. Oh, sorry. guessed by now we're doing a best of show yep and what best of show is complete without clips like these <laughs> <laughs> 
When Harry met Sally, screen test. Take 73. Action. So, Casanova, what happened with your hot date last night? Oh, Sally, it was a disaster. She canceled. She had a bad cold. Are you sure she had a cold? Yes, I'm sure she had a cold. I heard a sneeze twice. Did you ever think she may have faked the sneeze to get out of the date with you? Well, excuse moi, miss, I'm jealous of babe. You don't think that I can tell the difference between a real sneeze and a fake sneeze? Nope. <laughs> uh. oh. 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 Waiter, all have what she's having, only less pepper. And now, once again, it's time for great moments in Elvis history. Tonight, the Declaration of Independence. Say there, George Washington. What's up there, Thomas Jefferson? Well, I was just wondering if you had any more of that there. Cherry pie left. I cannot tell a lie. I ate the whole thing. Oh, mercy. Next week, Elvis of Arabia. Bang, it's hot out here. And now, Muppet Masterpiece Mystery Movie presents Jason Alexander as Hercule Poirot in Murder on the Disoriented Express. Oh, oh help, help! I've been miterized. Oh, oh no! Yeah. Oh, my goodness! Oh, Someone oh, has oh, killed oh, Mr. Poodle Pants! Oh, well, I'm not really hurt, you know. I mean, this is a family show. They wouldn't really... Oh. Shh! You're ruining the scene now. Go down. Oh, dear, it's a murder. What do we do? There's only one detective who could solve this crime, what? and he's on board our train, folks. What? Ladies and gentlemen, I present Monsieur Hercules Poirot. Everyone, please take your seats. Oh, I, I have a question there, Hercules. Uh, are you going to use your super strength to lift up the train and shake out the clues? <laughs> uh, listen carefully. You are thinking of Hercules, mm. an ancient demigod from Greek mythology. I am Hercule. Voila! A fictional Belgian detective. But, but how do you hide your rippling muscles under that puny little waistcoat? <laughs> I do not think it is possible to overemphasize what I am about to say. I am not Hercules. Oh, I get it. He's working undercover. Oh. Shh, don't get him mad. He'll rip up the train tracks and tie him around your neck. <laughs> yes, I might mm -hmm. if I was Hercules, which I am not. Now, if I may proceed with my investigation. What are you going to do first? Fly around the Earth backwards so you can reverse time and discover who really did it? <laughs> all right, first of all, I am not Hercules. Second of all, you are thinking of Superman and not Hercules. And third of all, you cannot reverse time by flying backwards around the Earth. I myself had a little problem with the logic in that part of the film. Jason, please, you're breaking character. I'm breaking character? You're supposed to be dead! Ooh. This clown thinks I'm Superman and the rest of these chuckleheads think I'm Hercules! July 2nd, they arrive. July 3rd, they attack. July 4th, they begin therapy. <laughs> well, tell me, Meepsorp, why did you want to blow up Earth? Because you stupid humans never listen to our needs. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Let's try to talk this through. How do you feel about what Meepsorp's just said, Mr. President? Well, first of all, ask him why the aliens never told us what they wanted. They just came and blew up the White House. Hey, people cheered. Oh, just the Republicans. And the Perot people. Leave Perot out of this. He's one of us. Coming soon. Codependence Day. This time, it's interpersonal. Well, I got to introduce the musical clips, and I don't have a clue what to say. Say it right. Yeah, I got the musical clips coming up, but I don't know what to say. The, the producer's gonna be steaming at it all his own. Zuma, she radiates moon glow. Wants none of that noon glow. Starts to glitter when the sun goes down about 8 p.m. It's mayhem. She switches the brights up, lights up, and gives me a call. Take me to the fireflies ball. When we're free to love, 
anyone we choose when this world's big enough for all different views when we're all free to worship from our own kind of view then we share Your woman on the floor. Gotta gotta get up to get down. Gotta gotta get up to get down. Love fish and coffee, maple syrup and jam, butterscotch clouds and a tangerine. As I had hold of her hand, if you set your mind free, baby, maybe you'll understand. Love fish and coffee, maple syrup and jam. Oh, and the singing. Thank you. We here at Muppets Tonight love to do television parodies. Some people might say that's biting the hand that feeds us. Ah! What'd you do that for? Well, you told me to bite the hand that feeds me. I don't feed you with that hand. I feed you with this hand. <laughs> ah! <laughs> My mistake. Bay of Pigs Watch. I want to go back. To my little grass yeah, shack yeah. in Galicky Go Wucky Hawaii. Where the Huma Huma Nuka Nuka. Excuse me. Do any of you boys know where I can find Champ Schwimmer? <laughs> I'm his new assistant, Lifeguard. I need to ask him if this is the proper lifeguard outfit for my new job. <laughs> <laughs> Change wins the contest. Oh, oh, I'm out. Oh. <laughs> you know, Rizzo. Yes, Gonzo. These clips are great, but I haven't seen any of my favorite moments. Which ones are those? The painful ones. All righty then. Well, here's a tape that we call Muppets Tonight's Greatest Hits. <laughs> Excuse me, but it was in the script, huh? Nobody <laughs> told me that was a script. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was great, Gonzo. You know, we really pulled it off. Yeah, <laughs> nice work, oh, old God. buddy. Thanks. Very well. Hey, yeah. what are you two doing here? Well, we just finished broadcasting our own show called The Worst of Muppets Tonight. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> really? What did you show? The same thing you did. <laughs> <laughs> Elephant, elephant. What is it? Meals. Okay, okay. Elephant, elephant. Elephant. Oh, poo. Don't tell me if the ratings dip below 50, they're gonna blow something up yeah, really probably. big. Normally, as a matter of principle, I would not do this number. But I am gonna do it, if for no other reason but to get this stupid off. The... Stupid off? Stupid off. Hey, guess what? What? You made a boo-boo like I did. <laughs> and even though I don't know who you are, I 
agree with all of it. Can you speed that up in the edit? <laughs> <laughs>